3 ay sirling ng riwah gan o tatamilisan niya. Kapukawli. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh and a good morning to our distinguished guests. Prof. Hasanuddin, the Dean of the Kulia of Economics and Management Sciences, Deputy Dean of Academic Affairs and Internationalization, and also the representative of the Department of Economics, Dr. Muhammad Irwan Arifin, Deputy Dean of Postgraduate and Representative of the KNMS PG Unit, Dr. Azura Omar, all the department staff, dear postgraduate students and researchers, and participants from IAUM and other institutions. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and um, thank you for joining us. I'm Riyasat, an economics lecturer at the Department of Economics, and I'll be the moderator for this session. So let's, before going any further, let's start today's proceedings with the recitation of Surah Al Fatiha. On behalf of the organizing committee, I would first like to thank all our distinguished panel speakers for giving up their valuable time to be with us today. Um, soon after the introductory speeches by our deans and deputy deans, um, there'll be a short bio where I talk about you know, the vast experience each of them have. So without any further ado, I would like to invite, I have the pleasure of inviting Dr. Muhammad Irwan Arifin, who is the Deputy Dean for Academic Affairs and Internationalization, to give his welcoming speech. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Riyasat. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, in alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'adihi wa nasta'afiruhu wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. May yahdihillahu falamudillalah wa may yudhlil falahadiyalah amma ba'd. Um, so, uh, respected uh, colleagues, uh, the Dean, uh, Professor Hassanuddin Abdul Aziz, um, and uh, my colleagues uh, from uh, the Kulia of Economics and Management Sciences, our distinguished uh, speakers, presenters uh, for this uh, workshop okay, of four days. Uh, we have nine sessions, and uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, nine distinguished speakers uh, from all over the world. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh the, your willingness uh, to spend your time and resources uh, to be with us today and uh, last but not least uh, our uh, students uh, postgraduate students who are participants of this uh, program uh, so ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum um, uh, so uh, i have the pleasure to represent the department of economics uh, as a co-organizer with our postgrad unit uh, to welcome all of you to this uh, for this workshop uh, I hope that uh, all of us here will be able to get uh, the benefit, uh, and the knowledge uh, to improve our research because um, as, as, a, as a postgraduate student who are either doing your master's or PhD, uh, we always uh, in need of improvement. Uh, so hopefully uh, with uh, when you spend four days uh, attending this uh, quantitative and the reference uh, uh, writing uh, workshop, would be able to enhance and improve your, your thesis uh, and your dissertation uh, so that uh, whatever results, uh, whatever research uh, that you are doing, uh, you will, be, first of all, it will give you your own satisfaction. I mean, for researchers, you know, the most important thing is that when you are coming up with uh, an expectation, when you do your study, when you come up with the results, first and foremost, we, 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 we want to have our own satisfaction. These are the questions that, that have motivated ourselves to spend, you know, uh, time and resources. Some of you may even take one or two years of doing, researching the same topic again and again. Uh, so this is something that you will have to face daily. Uh, so uh, hopefully with the, the knowledge that you're gonna uh, obtain uh, from this session, we'll be able to give your uh, satisfaction uh, that the questions that you are trying to address you'll be able to find the answers, the solutions, okay? So that should be the first uh, thing that uh, you need uh, to be able to achieve from this workshop. And other people then, of course, uh, whatever that you have found from your study will be able to also um, uh, provide the same answers uh, to, to other people that they will be able to understand what you are trying to convey. 
Uh, so hopefully the uh, our, our distinguished speakers and presenters will be able to assist you so that the language, the way that you present the result will be in the best way. Uh, so that uh, you know you may have the knowledge, but also equally important is that that knowledge should be able to be understood by others as well. Uh, so that it will be appreciated and then others can continue uh, to uh, uh, pursue uh, either extend uh, your, your research or for the for future studies, inshallah. So um, again, uh, I hope that uh, usually uh, those who are doing their, you know, uh, PG studies are unlike uh, undergrad, where there will be a time where you will be kind of uh, alone, right? It's, it's no longer like a classes where you have classmates who will compete with you. Basically, you will be have you will have to compete against yourself. Huh? So some of you may have to spend like a year or two or even three years uh, a lonely journey where the, the only person that you need to challenge is yourself. So it's good to have this kind of session. I hope the PG unit uh, uh, can, can, can always think of um, having this session occasionally, you know, just a kind of uh, gathering. Just, uh, it will be good also to uh, check upon each other, uh, especially during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, ask how our friends are doing, what is the level of their research, because hopefully between among your friends, the, the question will not be so sensitive. Huh? Unlike if, if someone else is asking you, you know, how are you doing and stuff, because all of you are in the same boat. Uh, so it's good to have this kind of session occasionally. So hopefully, you know, once in a while, it will, uh, you know, uh, trigger uh, the spirit uh, or, or call you that this is something that you have committed and make sure you complete the journey in the end. So I think... Uh, that's all from the Department of Economics. Uh, we would like to thank uh, our uh, organizer, the volunteer, the committee uh, who have made uh, this uh, program successful. We pray that uh, all the participants will be able to get the benefit. And again, I would like to express our utmost appreciation to the speakers, uh, the, the presenters who have uh, agreed uh, to be with us uh, in these four days. Thank you very much. May Allah bless these good days. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Irwan. He's the perfect person to give you a splash of motivation, you know, right at the beginning of the day. And it's always good and inspiring to listen to him. So it's good that we started with him, alhamdulillah. Um, next, um, I have the pleasure of inviting the Dean of the Kulia of Economics and Management Sciences, Professor Hassanuddin Abdulaziz, to share some of his comments about today's event. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Dr. Yasad, uh, Dr. Irwan, uh, Deputy Dean, Academic Affairs, uh, Deputy Dean, uh, Postgraduate, uh, Dr. Azura, uh, Associate Professor, PG Coordinator, Dr. Rafia, uh, who has successfully organized this together with the PG uh, of uh, Postgraduate uh, Unit of the Kulia. Uh, it is a very interesting, uh, it, it is mentioned, it's a workshop series. So this is the first, I think, of a series conducted together with the Kulia and the department. Uh, it is very timely to have this uh, working uh, workshop series on quantitative analysis and reference writing. As a PG student, uh, this is the time where when you were embarking on doing a PhD, it's a time for you to spend a lot of your time in uh, reading, in uh, keeping track with the latest development, in understanding methodologies. Because after you have acquired your PhD, it's a time for you to be contributing for publication and the community at large by through your writings. So during the time as what Dr. Irwan has mentioned, this is a time where you should be spending more time in the library, uh, but as of, of now, with, with this pandemic, uh, it has shown that uh, online library, online references is something which is already there, which we assume uh, that it is always going to be there, but now it becomes a priority. Why? Uh, because the face-to-face -face walking to the library has become a cumbersome uh, thing nowadays. So I think this work, workshop series, uh, hopefully the uh, participants, especially the students. I saw around 33 participants and it is uh, been uh, telecast throughout the world. 
because the panel speakers are not only from Malaysia, uh, respectively from University of Malaya, USM, I think that's uh, IIUM, also from Bangladesh, from Bangladesh, uh, uh, Pakistan, and so on and so forth. So all their contributions are very valuable. And all those presentations in the area of qualitative as well as quantitative, this is to show proof, whatever your thesis and hypothesis are, something which is always changing, developing, progressing, uh, which is needed for us in the academic world to show proof, you have to show it through the uh, reliability, reliance of the methods which you are adopting. So this is something very important, something which you, because as of now, this is the way we go about trying to prove things which we have hypothesized. So hopefully, I hope all these participants, uh, if there are nine to 10 panelists, participants, I saw only around 33, I think maybe academic staff, another few five or ten percent. So I'm not sure how many students are there. So this is something which uh, hopefully the PG uh, uh, division uh, will seriously look into it and try to make sure that our students and students everywhere in Malaysia or, or beyond are participating. That is very important. So I congratulate uh, the uh, PG coordinator, PG unit, the uh, academic uh, division, and the Department of Economics to organize this uh, important uh, uh, important workshop uh, because this is something which is the tool. Without this tool, without understanding this tool, without seriously uh, using this tool, as of now, the world and also in any publication, this is how we go about trying to prove things in the academia. So I think uh, uh, with that, I think uh, I have covered congr congratulating the organizers, uh, thanking all those uh, participants and uh, making sure that this is going to be a fruitful exercise. Uh, please continue because it's mentioned workshop series on. So maybe you should have put work workshop series one. So every month there is one series uh, in all areas. And all these respective areas should be documented. Uh, as of now, it is also going to be recorded and you can also ask for permission to be used in the future. So that is one of the uh, easy ways for us to introduce all these uh, uh, tools which is required for us to be able to uh, perform uh, as a PG student. So I think uh, I congratulate, uh, I welcome all participants. Uh, I hope you all will have a fruitful uh, four days. Huh? Yeah, four days workshop. Uh, this is a long time, but uh, it's something which is worthwhile. And I hope uh, the organizers will uh, keep track of the participations. And then we can also uh, discuss how to make it much more successful with more participation in the future. So uh, do not be disappointed if the number is not big, but this is the first time, I think. But be before this, we have done uh, this kind of series, but it's face-to-face -face and uh, things were different. This is now a different norm uh, with this pandemic. Uh, I think uh, this is very challenging. We think it's easy, but in actual fact, I don't think it is something which we can take it lightly. So uh, with that, I think thank you very much for the organizers for inviting me. Uh, keep safe, uh, have uh, social bonding, but physical distancing. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Prof Hasanuddin, um, thank you for your pearls of wisdom. I, I completely agree um, that what we need to do is actually develop a culture and make sure that you know we emphasize the series aspect of it. And I think um, uh, the good thing is that um, although uh, even when I entered the participation was about 20 in the upper 20s, um, we've already doubled that number and we're still constantly increasing. So hopefully it's an early morning and people are finding their way around, but um, you know, uh, hopefully the numbers will increase. And um, you know, it is only the first day. And um, if you look at the schedule, you'll notice that the way the events are, the actual sessions are kind of compartmentalized. They're not exactly interrelated. 
so anyone can join anytime so if you are in touch with some of the other students and you come in contact with them i think when you mention this event that you know this is going on it's very beneficial you don't have to start from day one i think this will be motivation for many others to join and um, hopefully you know we can create a culture out of this you know where um, it can be expanded to other students um, beyond um, beyond the ones who are participating right now inshallah okay so um, we're we're done with the introductory speeches part let's move on to me introducing our esteemed speakers who are with us today and um, first of all uh, we're going to start with Prof Jahangir Alam he's from the Bangladesh Agricultural University and um, he is a very accomplished uh, professor at the Department of Agribusiness and Marketing at the Bangladesh Agricultural University. Um, Dr. Alam has spent periods of time as visiting fellows at the Crawford School of Public Policy, Australian National University, and as Fulbright Scholar at Dyson School of Applied Economics and Management, Cornell University, New York. He was a visiting fellow at the Department of Agriculture Agricultural Economics and Agribusiness at Louisiana State University, US. He has also been a Commonwealth Fellow at SOAS, the very well-known SOAS of London, University of London, and a visiting professor at the IT Island, where he taught global food systems. He was a visiting PhD scholar at Department of Agriculture, Economics, and Agribusiness University of Arkansas. USA during his PhD in Agriculture Economics and Ghent University, Belgium. He obtained his master's in Agriculture, Rural Development from Ghent University and both master's in Agriculture, Marketing and BSc in um, Agriculture Economics from Bangladesh Agriculture University. He's a recipient of many prestigious uh, fellowship or um, scholarship. As I mentioned earlier, the Fulbright is something that is uh, quite sought after and he's one of the recipients of that award. Um, he has worked um, in that capacity with the Commonwealth Fellowship, uh, with the World Bank and um, other endeavors, similar endeavors. He has published more than 100 articles in peer-reviewed journals, many book chapters and written many research reports. He has participated and presented um, his work in more than 40 international conferences and seminars. He's also the recipient of Best Publication Award for uh, six times, Global Research Impact Award for two times, and uh, Bangladesh University Grant Commission Award. He is a recipient of um, prestigious grants, okay, um, funding such as Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Foreign Commonwealth and Development Organization UK, uh, John Templeton Foundation, USDA, USAID, Australian, Center for International Agriculture Research, Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Australia, uh, Belt and Road Initiative, China, European Union, World Bank. So basically, um, he, he is very well published and um, he's active in almost every aspect of, um, you know, um, the trade, including, for example, the, um, the grant aspect, the research aspect, as well as, you know, the publications aspect. So um, with such experience, vast experience, I think um, this would be one of the most important sessions that we have. By the way, the, I'm, I'm not um, introducing the speakers in order, okay, um, in order of the chronology, okay, I'm introducing them um, in general as a list. Um, next, we have um, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Rafia Afroz. Um, she will be, of course, conducting the session on logistics um, regression. Um, Dr. Rafia is the Associate Professor and uh, Postgraduate Coordinator uh, representing the Department of Economics. Um, she is also uh, the organizer. She's one of the main reasons that um, today's event is taking place. So um, uh, this, this event has happened uh, mainly through her initiative, which is really good to see. Um, Dr. Rafia's expertise is of course, in addition to um, uh, regression analysis, she's very good at alternative methodologies, for example, ARDL and um, other models. Um, her area of focus is in environmental economics and um, uh, mainly focusing on pollution um, studies, but you know, not limited to that. Okay, um, next we have 
she has also won um, several awards and she has uh, published in very well-known journals. Um, right now, concurrently as this event is going on, we have the IIUM Takrim or the IIUM Quality Awards. And um, just uh, in the last one, I think uh, Dr. Rafia has won at least in two of the categories that were there. So um, definitely very accomplished. And I think all our students know that. Next, we have um, Dr. Rubayat Ahsan. Uh, with the, she's right now with the Curtin University of uh, Malaysia. Um, Dr. Rubayat has been working as a faculty member in the Department of Finance and Banking at the Curtin University of Malaysia. Um, she has around nine years of teaching, research, and industry experience in the finance and marketing area. He worked um, as a country manager in Bangladesh in Trace Blue SD and BHD Malaysia. He has completed his PhD from uh, the International Islamic University. He's so an um, active researcher in international peer-reviewed Scopus index journals. Next, we have Dr. Mehdi Masood. Uh, he's also a personal acquaintance and friend of mine. He's at the University of Malaya. Um, Dr. Muhammad Mehdi Masood is a senior lecturer at the Department of Development Studies, Faculty of Economics and Administration. He has published more than 35 scientific papers in internationally referred journals. His research interests and, uh, are development economics, environment and sustainable development, environmental impact assessment, ecotourism development, climate change, adaptation and mitigation, community development, livelihoods, poverty and social mobility. Um, development economics, as uh, all of us know, is, is a very wide um, area. And it looks like it's good to see that, you know, Dr. Mehdi is involved in all of these aspects. So um, his area of expertise will be, um, you know, you can um, actually see how uh, the method that he focuses on, right, is able to apply in all these different domains. He has received several awards such as um, Academic Excellence Award in 2014, um, the Excellence Award 2015 and Bangladeshi Students Knights Award um, 2016 from the University of Malaya. Next, we have uh, Dr. Aslam Mia from, the from USM Malaysia. Um, Dr. Aslam Mia holds a, a PhD in economics, um, spe uh, specifically in uh, microfinance from the University of Malaya. He's currently a senior lecturer at the School of Management, um, University Science Malaysia. Dr. Mia has published around 40 research articles related to productivity and efficiency of financial institutions, international trade, market structure and urban economics in um, internationally reputed uh, peer-reviewed journals. The majority of the publications are based on secondary data and indexed in um, Scopus and WOS. Among some of the high impact journals, he has published in a finance research letter, Singapore Economic Review, Economic Research Annals of Public and uh, Cooperative Economics, the European Journal of Development Research, uh, Business History, right, um, among many others. Next, um, we move to our very own uh, Dr. Muhammad Aslam Akbar at the IIUM. And um, Dr. Mas uh, Muhammad Aslam Akbar is an assistant professor in Sharia Sciences and Heritage at the Department of Economics, Hulia of Economics and Management Sciences. He teaches undergraduate courses in Islamic commercial jurisprudence and Islamic economics and conducts research on the classical works of Muslim scholarship in economic thought and maqasid uh, Sharia-based developments. Before joining the department, Dr. Aslam has trained 50 to 100 postgraduate students in multiple seminars on um, the ethics of academic writing, including plagiarism, Turnitin, web-based plagiarism software, and thesis writing with Mendeley. Next, we have uh, Dr. Rulia Akhtar, another personal acquaintance of mine. She's with the uh, University of Malaya as well. Uh, Dr. Rulia Akhtar is a research fellow at the Unku Aziz Center for Development Studies, um, University of Malaya. I think many of us have seen the recent talks uh, by them as well, so she's one of the active members there. She obtained her PhD from Faculty of Economics and Management Sciences at IIUM. She has published more than 20 scientific papers in internationally referred journals and presented several papers at local and international conferences. Her research interests are environmental economics, 
uh, climate change adaptation, waste management, clean water and sanitation, renewable energy, gender equality, community development, socioeconomic development, poverty and sustainable development, and development economics and social mobility. So um, also quite a few um, areas that she focuses on. Okay. She's also uh, related to one of the other speakers. I'll leave it to you to try and guess who. Okay. Um, next, we have Brother Muhammad Buhibullah, and he's also our own PhD student, very active person in um, you know, um, student development programs and uh, many other things. Uh, he's a very pleasant person, very approachable, very friendly. Um, so he'll be one of the presenters, um, uh, one of the important key presenters in, in our session. Uh, in this workshop. So Brother uh, Mohibullah is, uh, um, is serving as a lecturer in economics at the Asian University of Bangladesh before he started his PhD. Uh, currently, besides studying, um, he is presiding at the Friends of IOM Library Club. His research interest includes environmental economics, renewable energy, sustainable development for entrepreneurs, environmental awareness and education. And um, like I said, he's a very approachable person. So if you have any problems of understanding what's what and where it's happening, I think he's the person to go to. Um, he will always have an answer with regards to, with respect to, you know, um, how to find your way around and how to go about things. You know, uh, many of us students sometimes, um, we, we can sometimes get a bit lost or, or we're not sure who to reach out to because, you know, as, um, uh, you know, uh, Prof. Hassan mentioned a while back, sometimes we get a bit isolated. So, um, uh, Brother Mohib is the right person to reach out to, you know, in these kind of circumstances. All right. And our final speaker, last but not, not least, is uh, Dr. Nazima Ilahi. She's with the Foundation of University of Islamabad, uh, which is based in Pakistan. And uh, Dr. Nazima Ilahi is a Associate Professor, Chair, Department of Economics and Finance, Foundation University um, Islamabad. She's a proud alumni of Triple I E and a certified productivity specialist from APO Japan. Dr. Ilahi is receiver of HEC's Best University Teacher Award and editor of Foundation University Journal of Business and Economics and HEC recognized journal. Dr. Um, she has uh, authored more than 40 research papers published in national and international index journals and presented her research at various international forums and symposia, including Malaysia. Turkey, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Sri Lanka, Australia, Canada, and Italy. Uh, moreover, Dr. Ilahi has organized and conducted extensive training on different statistical tools, um, including PLS, AMOS, SPSS, EVU, STATA, and, and VIVO. Um, her area of interest includes financial economics, economic modeling, and development economics. So one of the good things that I'm seeing from all our speakers is that um, a lot of their specializations right, um, is focused on economics that has real impact. And when I say this, I'm not saying that, you know, other um, aspects of economics don't have real impact. But what I'm saying is that these are very much related to development, human development, sustainable development, you know, um, environment. And it's not only, um, you know, their experience is not only procedural. And, and this is good to see. Because um, a lot of our students, you know, we, we kind of get stuck with some of the procedural aspects, but we're not able to relate to that impact aspect. So I hope that, you know, as presentations um, move forward, you know, you're able to kind of talk about it. We, we focus, I am students, we like to focus a lot on the technical aspects. We feel that, yes, I got the methodology. I understand it clearly. I know how to put the numbers. I know the software. That's the main part. But, you know, a lot of our theses don't have that impact, you know, on the real um, ground because of, you know, um, this aspect. So it's really good to see that the lineup of speakers that we have this time, right, um, is, you know, they're, they're very much related to um, organic development on the ground. And I think um, this will be very helpful um, in, in, you know, addressing this issue that some of our students tend to have. Okay, so um, that's it for the speaker bios, the short bios of the speakers. Um, I, I know it took a bit and, you know, it, there was quite um, a lot I had to say, but, you know, I wanted to make sure that um, each of us are aware and we take full advantage of the speakers that we have lined up for you. 
Um, I hope that, you know, we've already reached 50 participants. So I, I hope the numbers keep growing. Make sure that you spread the word around. And um, I, without any further delay, I think we should move on to the first session. I think um, we are slightly ahead of time. Um, we are supposed to start at 1045. Um, maybe uh, I, I think we can have uh, a short question answer session. I mean, um, just to see, uh, hear some of your expectations and maybe um, some of the speakers can proactively um, incorporate some of those elements. Um, I, I know we're kind of deviating from the general uh, path or the scheme of things, but maybe like, I, I don't want to put more than um, 10 minutes. I think uh, maybe even five minutes if there are a few um, questions. If not, we can actually move directly to our first uh, presentation by Prof. Uh, Jahangir Alam. So are, are there any questions? Uh, and please keep the questions brief if you have any. And, um, you know, just to the point, I, I, I don't think we really need to go out of our way to greet everyone and, you know, make it long. The main thing is uh, perhaps what are your expectations from this workshop in, in a very short and concise form. Is anyone, maybe um, you can raise your hand and I will take note. Uh, Brother Mohib, are permissions enabled for participants to ask questions? Yes, yes. Uh, anyone can yeah, ask okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. If, if, if there are no questions, it, it means we can jump right into it and uh, maybe, you know, uh, Prof. Jangir will have a bit of extra time and, you know, he can go into a bit more nuance. So that's a positive as well. Okay, I, I, I think it's pro it probably makes sense to just start and um, the questions will come as you know the presentations move forward. So, um, uh, Prof. Jahangir, are, are you here? Assalamualaikum, Prof. Jahangir, can you hear me? On the participation list. He was here from the beginning. It was, yeah. I, I also yeah. noted, but I it's probably a connection issue. And um, probably a technical issue. Okay, all right. So I'm told that um, there are other people who are joining the FB live. Um, group, which I am not on. So that's, that's good to know. So it's, um, we're not only at 50, there must be uh, at, at least a few more. So that that's good. Okay, so I think um, if there are any questions that you know, you'd like to address, you can go ahead until maybe we can um, reach Prof. Jahangir Alam. Um, also, maybe um, it might be a good time to. Um, uh, talk Dr. Yasa? Yeah, yes. Uh, Prof. Jahangir, he informed that he has some uh, network problem. Okay. So now ah. he wants to use the uh, mobile data. He cannot access through the, his laptop. Okay. Um, perhaps mm. you can get a timeline from him, like his rough ETA. Um, if, it, if it takes a bit long, perhaps. Um, maybe we can uh, switch, you know, two of the sessions. Maybe um, uh, Dr. Rafia, if you're ready, you can go first and then uh, perhaps um, Prof. Jahangir can follow based on the timing and if, if that's okay with you. Okay, I just call, uh, I'm, I'm trying to call him. Okay. If, uh, we'll wait for his feedback. So it's good we have I that can, extra time. Then here. maybe <laughs> I can start maybe later.